Yes. Il porte. Dumpy. Oh. Oh. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. When it comes out, zero. Just what all pro. Just to start off, uh, Jet, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and who you are and what Hourglass really is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm Jet. I'm a co-chair of Hourglass. We are a decentralized community token. We have a very powerful partner in Neff Brands. Uh, the individual who you guys met, the Gem Hunters, this morning who runs Neft is a very successful individual who owns over 20 companies including a tv production company within his sister companies which is how we were able to produce the first mainstream crypto tv show that's going to be in over 300 million homes called the next crypto gem you probably saw that we have some high profile judges there um uh, george from cryptos are us leah helpern brian d evans um one of the original shark tank sharks uh kevin Harrington just tweeted today. He's excited to be on the show as well. So this is going to be a really important moment for crypto where we're going to elevate the space into mainstream TV. And that's just a very, very small part of what we're going to do at Hourglass. We have a we have a, a wealth of resources that just don't exist in 99.99% of crypto. Um, our, uh, Neft owns multiple apps that are growing quickly, a dating app, a money transfer app, uh, also a millennial uh, slash Gen Z events social app. And we're going to be doing a, a lot of implementation of the Hourglass weight token into these apps. We're going to be doing a lot more on the media side. Um, Neft manages many top comedians. They manage many sev uh, and shoot many celebrity podcasts such as the Byron Scott podcast, right out here in the um, in El Segundo office. And we're going to be doing cross promotions, growing all year. The TV show is obviously really exciting. We're excited to get that on board, uh, get that rolling. And um, yeah, so something I want to, some people might not even know, is that what I'm really excited about is I brought you guys in, the Gem Hunters, as advisors for Hourglass. And so now you guys are part of everything um, that we're building. I'm so excited about that. I've known Indiana for a long time. I think he's one of the most underrated super connectors in crypto. And just working with you guys for the last two weeks has been incredible. I know we haven't... Well, but, yeah. So I'm really excited about that, uh, guys. Uh, is my microphone working now, guys? Yes, I hear you. It's clean now. That it is, is yeah. So I'm on my spare phone. It's not my main phone. So is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Great, great. Um, try, sorry, try, try to sorry. go a little bit closer, maybe. It's it's pretty quiet. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Sorry I'm late to the party. I listened to your intro. That was amazing, by the way, Jet. And Cheers, we brother. Are thrilled. We are thrilled to be on board. It's a massive pleasure. And what I've been explaining to the community is that every time crypto is portrayed in the uh, mainstream media, it's always negative, isn't it? It's always, mm -hmm. it's always bad. It's always, it's a scam. Stay away. Watch out. Uh, crypt, crypto is like gonna gonna rug. But uh, rarely, there's so much opportunity in this space. There's so many good people who share similar journeys. And anyone who's been here three, four, five years will tell you that this is a magical, amazing experience. So I can't wait. And I'm really excited because obviously you just mentioned then some of the big personalities and names on board who are hosting the show. And uh, so I'm thrilled. Uh, we're thrilled. But can you tell us more about what you're planning in regards to is it going to be a Shark Tank Dragon's Den style show? Yeah, we're. I'm actually in the middle of the writer second day of the writers' room right now. I'm here with the director, the producer, writers, production assistants, 
these are folks that know TV. This, I mean, they're doing this production at the same time. They're doing another. Uh, they're doing like four other productions. The company, the company we work with. One of them is um, about street ball. Another one is a dating show. They know how to make great TV that really works. And uh, I'm here with a couple others to make sure that we're going to combine that format that people know um, of the best um, reality competition shows that you see on streaming, that you see on TV. And we're going to bring crypto into it and uh, really do it in a good light that, it, that yeah. entertains the masses that don't know about crypto and educates them at the same time. And also is going to uh, shine a spotlight on the contestants that make the show. And we, since we submitted the call for contestants, we've been getting a lot of crypto companies all the way from NFT projects to new launches to projects that north of a billion market cap at their, at their uh, peak. We're getting all sorts of variety. And so I'm so excited about what the show uh, is going to do. And um, again, this is just a this is just a piece of what we're doing at Hourglass, and uh, I don't think a lot of cryptos can really say that that just a little small piece of what they're doing as a whole is a production of this caliber. Yeah, because you've already got the network in place already, haven't you? On the in the real world side of things, yes, you've got connections uh, to, to uh, TV, uh, to Hollywood. Uh, big names. Uh, there's a lot of wealth involved, isn't there, already? Absolutely. Well, you, you met the man this morning, right? How, what did you think? That's right, um, yeah. I was, I was really impressed with his experience. Uh, yeah. What what are we calling him? The Neft? Uh, the, is he Neft? The, the uh, owner of Neft. Yeah, the owner yeah. of Neft. Um, he's got so much experience and wealth and backing and network. So I think um, that's really... Um, interesting because that's a massive everyone knows your network is your net worth and in this exactly even in the real world network is everything isn't it so you guys have already got a great connection so i'm really interested in seeing that side of things now that we're on the subject can we actually talk about the team a little bit just give us a little bit of a intro into you know how did all this come together you know a little bit of insight for people to understand uh, in in terms of the, the the show or hourglass the token or or both everything really <laughs> well there's a lot there's a lot there um I mean we are a what really happened was that we we adopted a decentralized 100 percent circulating token uh, I've been investing in crypto since 2017 or so I come from a m a investment banking background. And uh, one thing that is unfortunate with a lot of crypto projects is that they, they can have a good white paper, uh, they could have a good idea, but they may not have the financial resources to be able to pull it off, or they may not have good tokenomics. So you may like a project, but then if they need to, if the company needs to dump tokens, they have a lot of uncirculating tokens and they need to dilute just to keep the doors open. That, that you're not in a good situation. So what I wanted to do with Hourglass is I wanted to take the resources that we have in the real world with Neft. So we're talking about an individual that's partnering with us that has hundreds of millions of dollars, 22 companies, a TV production company, everything that we talked about, a wealth of experience. But I wanted to tokenize everything that we're doing together by adopting a token that's 100% circulating. So what that does is that takes all of the stress off of the token investor. What happens if they, you know, if they dump? What happens if there's dilution? And it makes any time we grow our our um, our community, it, it it goes right into increasing our market cap without that risk. And so what I want to do was coming from the side of being a crypto token investor, create the optimal, optimal conditions where the lowest amount of risk for token holders and the optimal, the, the highest amount of upside. And so that's why we did it that way instead of the, you know, the all traditional where, you know, this is circulating. Then we have this reserve for 
centralized exchanges. We have this reserved for marketing. We have this reserved for our team. No, it's all already out there. And we are putting in the money outside to build an ecosystem, to, to create shows like this one where Hourglass is, is part, a production partner and to build and to do a lot more that we're talking about. And um, so that's just the, just the beginning. This started three months ago. We already have the show going. Since I brought you guys in, it's been amazing because you guys have been introducing me to so many people in crypto. We've been talking to some really big influencers that we're pilling on Hourglass that love what we're doing. They haven't said a word yet, but that's not going to stay that way. And so, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just excited as to where this is going to go. This is going to be an amazing yeah. year. Definitely, definitely. And the community is amazing. I yep. there's, there's not many communities like Hourglass who where everyone is getting behind and it's like a family, isn't it? It's like, it's like a little it is. family. And the, the thing is, right, for me, every project, the core of a project is the community. Without the community, there's no project. So yes. in terms of funding, in, in terms of network, in terms of the community, in terms of the team, the backing, everything, it's 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 solid, isn't it? I mean, really. It is. I mean, I, I love the guys in our community. I talk with them every day. I'm an open book. A lot of them are message me, you know, questions every all the time, kind of know what's going on. They, they know what we have. And it, I think everyone in our community is kind of in on a little secret, including you guys, that you know that the, the connections that we have isn't, isn't common in crypto. You don't meet a guy like the head of Neff that I introduced you to, you know, this morning. Um, not a lot of cryptos have that kind of backing. And I think sometimes from the outside, people don't really understand what's going on. They, they see that, okay, well, Hourglass is this type of community. And then there's this other token that has a similar amount of total tokens, you know, similar market cap, They're kind of is doing some of the same things. It's not the same. You don't, you don't, you don't, they don't have a guy that has hundreds of millions of dollars backing it and, you know, 20 plus companies. Since Neft became the top investor in, in, um, in Hourglass, and you can literally go on Etherscan, look at top holders, you can see that they're the top holder and the liquidity provider. They've purchased um, two more companies and they're looking at more acquisitions. So it's, it's pretty wild what we have at our disposable. And uh, we're going to not just take advantage of that, but we're going to optimize optimize it fully uh, in the in the best way possible for for our yeah. for people who hold weight. Yeah, just want to say to the guys listening now that we had a meeting with yourself and uh, the manager uh, from Neft, uh, the owner of Neft, and yep. he he gave us a, a bit of a detailed game plan on where he wants to see. Uh, the weight uh, token within the next 12 months. And he was talking about 500 mil market cap. I mean, that is insane. <sighs> so for anyone obviously buying at these levels, 6 mil market cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a joke. But, yeah. But but I know a lot of people are, are sort of like, well, it, it just pumped and whatever. <laughs> how, how, many, how, many, how many times do people want, people yeah. want to buy like that yeah. bottom? Otherwise, no, I'm not interested. Imagine yeah. doing that with SHIB or Doge or any of or, or Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of these. You know, you, you just never make money. But um, obviously, it's it's always good to dollar cost average. I'm not saying True. one minute, yes. oh, oh, FOMO now. You know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, it's good to dollar cost average. But I think it's great. It's a good time to have to get your eyes on what you're actually building. Because like you said, it's all about what happens behind the scenes. It's about exactly. the community. It's about the network. It's about yourself. I mean, you're you're on 16, 17 hours a day, aren't you? You're nonstop, aren't you? I, I yeah, I'm a type A personality. I'm a hard driver. I mean, I got to where I was from being, um, you know, a top performer in things that I've done in the past, owning businesses, uh, being a biz dev guy, working in investment banking. So it's just my nature that if I'm involved with any project, um, we're gonna make the absolute most of it. And um, yeah, I, I, I love it. Go on, sorry. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to say also is that what I think part of the reason why our our token performance relatively has been so strong is because the people in our community actually know how much we have. 
you know? Um, and so, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, some people want to buy buy the dip, look at something that's 99% down, but there it might be 99% down for a reason, <laughs> you know? Yeah, 100%. And like you were saying then, you're sort of like, you, you are very close to the community, aren't you? You're sort of yes. like in... You're with them, aren't you? You're 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 with them, and you 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 know a lot of these guys as well. And I'm really surprised how strong the community is. So we were talking we were talking before about other potential use cases outside of the show, mm -hmm. uh, and you know you covered a couple of little things there. But could you expand on that just a little bit to show people? just how much potential and how big you're thinking. And this is so much bigger than just a, a crypto TV show, isn't it? It's much, much bigger. Now, first of all, in terms of uh, some people, <laughs> I've heard some silly, silly things where some people are like, well, your crypto TV show will only highlight the projects that, that are the contestants. It's like, yeah, no, we obviously we will, and that'll be a great deal for them. But that's kind of like, saying that your, your mall will only highlight the stores in the mall. You know what I mean? It's like if you really understand how business works, you, you want to uh, – you're in a strong position as the mall owner. You're in a strong position as Amazon as opposed to the products that are selling on Amazon. So obviously having a hand and, and ownership in the ultimate product of the show is a strong position to be in for us, and we can leverage that in a lot of – ways in the future and we're, we're, we're looking to do a multi-season show not just not just a one season as well um so that's one thing uh the other thing is that we haven't even really scratched the surface of of how much we can do with nef's just existing assets so it's teased in the white paper that they own multiple apps um the head of neft i know he we we talked about that he he spent millions and millions of dollars going through proper channels to get a uh to have a money transfer system going now i'm not supposed to tease that much about this yet but let's just say that when all this comes to light and we're this when it becomes public we're going to be doing token integration of weight into this and it's going to be a really big deal for us there's also a dating app there's also a social app okay so all of these you you know now that the owner of neft is the largest owner of Hourglass. So uh, you know that he's very into blockchain. His sons are love blockchain. They love crypto. They believe it's the future. Where do you, what do you think, what token do you think we're going to be using for integration? Yeah. It's pretty freaking yeah. obvious, you know? I yeah. think we have a little bit of an advantage over a random X token uh, on, all of these in a, on all of these projects. So there's yeah. so much going. We're only scratching the surface. And every time we tease something, we have something big going at Hourglass, we always deliver. One thing I, I can't stand in crypto is just like, you know, hype, 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 and then, uh, you know, pitter-patter, okay? So here at Hourglass, when we said that we had a big thing coming, we announced the NEF partnership. We announced that we have another big media project going. We announced the first uh, mainstream TV, crypto TV show. It's going to be in over 300 million homes. We said we were going to bring in big crypto influencers as judges. And what did we bring in? We brought in George, Crypto Are Us, Leah Halpern, Brian Evans. We always deliver. We don't, we don't just BS. So everything in our white paper, there's clues there. We're going to do all of that more. Yeah, yeah. And I think that um, Kevin Harrington is one of the yeah. business because he was the original. Yeah. Was, was he the original shark from Shark? He was, season one. Yeah, that he's is, one of the that, original sharks. We got him in the show. Mm -hmm. that, that's unbelievable. That, yeah. that, that, and I'm looking forward to seeing who else comes on. And There's going to be a lot of celebrities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so just tell tell us quickly. So, what 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 we're going to expect? Lots of celebrities, lots of different crypto companies, different personalities, influencers, big players. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to give up too much until we actually start rolling out like the teasers and all of that. But what I can tell you is this: we there's two things that are important in terms of making a really good show. One is that it has high budget, which we have. Two is that there's a few things. Two is that it has to have very experienced people involved: the director, the writers, uh, facility, all of that. All of that we have top top shelf. Okay, casting as well. 
Um, we have to have a lot of the good contestants. We have that. Um, and um, in addition to that, we also want it to be a good representation of crypto. And that's why these few days in the writer's room, I'm making 100% sure of that, along with some other consultants working with me. And so I think that we have all the elements to make a really good splash for mainstream TV, bringing crypto to mainstream TV. And if you don't think that a mainstream TV show can matter for an industry or for a product, look at the history of – research the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. They were a company that was deep in debt and almost broke, okay? And then they made the series called The Ultimate Fighter. And the, the hype they got from The Ultimate Fighter and that, that final fight with Stefan Bonner versus Forrest Griffith and everyone tuning in that, whoa, this is so crazy – that's what catapulted the UFC into a multi-billion dollar enterprise. And so I'm not saying that that's exactly apples to apples here, but it shows that storytelling, movies, TV, these are powerful mediums that influence people. And if you're someone in crypto, I would think that you would want to embrace that because ultimately we want blockchain, Web3, we want all this to go mainstream. We don't want this to be a scary dark corner in the room yep. or some space that just seems dangerous. And like you said, we don't want the mainstream media to be able to just paint the narrative that every, everyone in crypto is a, is a SBF, you know what I mean? And just focus yeah. on the scandals and not talk about the, the innovation that's also going on. So it's, this is something where we're, we're fighting back, re representing crypto in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, this SPF and all the other stuff that went down, it was all centralized players. They were basically yeah. banks. And exactly. Crypto is trying to fix all this and salt. You know what really winds me up? You've got me going now. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. That's why I love I'm you, dude. Of, <laughs> um, no, what, what it is, is though, on, the, on, on a serious note, you talk to anyone about crypto and they talk about what happened over the last six months and it's all centralized players yeah so, like you said i'm looking forward to actually uh having uh and i think crypto will get behind what 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 you're doing because you're representing all of us aren't you and i think yep. it's funny it's funny isn't it because it'll be when the show sort of towards the launch of the show all the teasers all the adverts that'll be mm -hmm. when all the attention and everybody wants to get involved but right now, people are like on the sidelines, and it's funny. It's funny, isn't it? It, it is funny. Yeah. It, it, it's like Bitcoin now. Loads of dumb money is coming into the market, FOMOing mm -hmm. it right at the top here, and it's like right. you've had you've had six months to buy to buy the right. bottom. It's like, <laughs> now they're all FOMOing back in. It's crazy. crazy yeah. The way that um, investors work. So I'm really it is. interested. I'm really interested in some of the concepts. Really interested in the show. Um, looking forward to seeing some of these big names. Um, you've got, is, is there any, I, I know there's some big things coming and I know like you have to be careful what you say and whatever else. But... Of course. Let me ask you something. Let me ask Go you on. something, Shaman. I want to ask you, you met the head of Neft this morning. Okay. We spent a considerable amount of time with him. Okay. Do you know any projects with a like about a six million dollar market cap that have that kind of backing and someone of that caliber in them? No, I don't know any because no, because normally, neither do I. Normally, they would have already sent the price, but he was talking this morning yep. about about uh, manually <laughs> manually raising the levels, uh, the support levels, and but um, we, we we were saying before about how. It's amazing how these mem tokens take off, and no one really cares about the fundamentals, the purpose. Right, right. They just buy it. Just buy it for the fucking sake of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what you guys are doing is actually um, really it's it's a long term, organic, natural, and you you actually want to you don't want this to be a quick pump and dump, do you? I mean, no, you no. You want this to be sustainable, long term, and I think what I'm trying to get at is. You have to change your mindset completely. So if you've been aping into all these mem tokens and shit coins, then you aren't going to be able to sit and relax and hold a solid long-term project, are you? Because you'll be on the edge of your seat fidgeting and twitching. And So I think it's important for people to understand the difference between, you know, mem tokens and shit coins. <laughs> and right. 
project. There's not many projects out there with the backing that you've got. With the exactly, network. exactly. You know Do you I mean? want to be? If you want to be in the ground floor stage of a crypto token that is backed by someone with, you know, roughly half a billion dollars, owns 22 companies, and be on the ground floor where we build this bigger and bigger and bigger into an empire, then this is where you go. If you want to go with somewhere where it's just DGEN money D on top of DGEN money on top of DGEN money because a few influencers were pump, you know, just pumping it for the sake of pumping it, that's not what we're doing here. We're, we're trying to... Uh, we're trying to build the foundation of a very, very solid, sustainable, extremely profitable um, business that has multiple um, <clears throat> that has multiple uh, platforms within it. Yeah, absolutely love it. Um, would you be happy for us to open questions for ten minutes? Absolutely. Anyone, yeah. Got any questions, um, guys? If anyone's got any questions, feel free to ask for a speaker spot. Um, I want to give a shout out uh, to uh, Cobra, uh, Scorpic, uh, Sh Shabba, Decrypto. Um, I just met uh, Crypto Doll tonight. She's, uh, I think, I think she's a new addition to the Hourglass community. Nice. Uh, who else? Oh, the Alt Father, my man. Fucking good to see you, brother. Uh, Dean. Yeah. Dean, great to see you. Um, anyone who's got a question, just let us know. Feel free. Uh, Mike, great to see you, brother. Uh, Crypto Nirvana. Ryu. You know, like, I go on all day here. Timekeeper Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to stop somewhere. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to actually, because what we'll do is we'll do an interview as well. You know, a YouTube interview and... Um, go over some of the stuff that you're actually working on. What are you actually working on right now um, on that subject? Uh, right now, I'm literally in the writer's room for the show, and uh, I kind of timed then all the all of them, the director, the producer, all the assistants, they went out to lunch, so I have the writer's room for myself. I kind of kicked them out so I could do this, with be, be with you guys for a bit. <laughs> and then uh, they'll be back here in about 20 minutes or so. And then we'll continue... Um, mapping out the outline of the show. And I uh, also just want to mention the three judges, um, Leah, George, and Brian, they've been incredibly cooperative and great to work with. So it's been an absolute pleasure working with them. Yeah, love it, love it. Um, also, uh, a quick question before. How did you, um, you know, we talk about the, uh, the network, um, how, how, how big this is. Mm -hmm. Why did the CEO of Neft, um, you know, how did you come to, uh, come to meet each other and how did he come in, you know, to investing? And it's a great so story. Yeah, that's a great question. And you know what? It's all about relationships. Um, so there's two things that, you know, when I worked in mergers and acquisitions, all you do is you work with CEOs and private equity family wealth funds. So through that, you make a ton of connections. Uh, but in this particular case, his right hand man was just like my best friend uh, for years and years where I played in a band with him. And, um, you know, one of my best friends played in a band with him, did all sorts of business ventures for them. And, and it was about three years ago, I did a little consulting for the head of Neft. He was pleased with, uh, with w how I helped them on a, on a project for just a few hours. And then um, when we just started the Hourglass community, I think that the, you know, the market clap was just a few hundred thousand at that time. And I was thinking, okay, in order for this to get really, really big, you know, forget about just, you know, a few million market cap, forget about 10 million market cap, forget about a hundred million market cap. For this to be really, really big, who would I bring in as a partner to, to make that happen? And then my thought was, oh, I know, Neff Brands. And so I called up my buddy, Ro, and we, I, I went over, he said, come, just come by the office. I went out the office. The office is immaculate. Um, they have their own sound stage there. They have podcast studios where, you know, celebrities are always in there shooting uh, celebrity podcasts and all that. Um, they have, you know, big Hollywood parties there. And um, yeah, we started just talking about the possible ways of synergy and it just, Jeff, what um, the head of Neff wasn't even supposed to be at that meeting, but he just happened to eavesdrop and he liked what my conversation was going on with with Roe. And then he came down and then he joined and we just kept on 
talking and it just seemed more and more obvious that this was going to be a great uh, synergistic partnership. And uh, pretty much a couple days later, I went back and I met with all the executives. Like I was at a table with like eight executives at Neft. All they own twenty two companies, so there were CEOs of of different you know arms of their company there. His sons were there. Um, the head of the TV production company that were doing the next crypto gem was there, and we kind of just mapped it all out. Like this is a way to marry everything that they're all doing with a blockchain community and uh, and take things to a whole other level. And everyone was on board. And it's really just been a ton of hard work and a lot of fun since. I love it. I love it. I love these great stories that come together. because It's a journey, isn't it? It's experience. Yeah. And you gain experience. That journey uh, is always, you know, sort of changing on the way. And we're all sort of part of that. And I think as an investor, it's amazing to be invested in long-term projects, watching it grow, growing with the project. You can network as well. As an investor in a community, you can literally uh, meet new people. And I, I think it's amazing. Crypto is an amazing space because you can actually work full-time in crypto. But oh, you, yeah. need to have, you need to have a little bit about you, don't you? You can't, mm-hmm. be, lazy. You can't be lazy. You've got to be like, have something about you. And I think if you've got just a bit of discipline and you work hard, then people want you. People literally are. It's the most, one of the most rarest things right now is hardworking people who are committed. Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of people out there who are just desperate for, for those kind of people. So, um, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, I'm going to close the spaces in five minutes. Um, is, is there anyone out there who wants to ask any questions? And have you got any sort of anything you want to sort of share before we kind of end the spaces, Jet? Um, I, I will just say this is that I, I'm again, I'm really excited that you guys are on board with the journey as our official advisors. Um, before Neft already had a powerful in into crypto with me and the guys in our glass, but now it's so much stronger with you guys on board. And we've been putting in, I know we've been putting on a lot of work. You've been giving me so many introductions. That's, that's cut down on my sleep, <laughs> man. And, uh, but I'm really excited because none of the stuff that we've really done together other than the spaces has really been unveiled yet. And um, people are going to see that we, you know, I didn't just throw you guys on the website and, you know, Gem Hunter is there. We've been putting in some serious work and there's going to be the fruits of that work is going to be coming out. And it's going to take some people by surprise and um, and be pretty exciting. There are so many things going on. And uh, purposely, look, I'm a kind of guy who's not over promise guy. I'm like the under under promise guy and over deliver. And so I'm always looking at what are the next two, three things in the next week, the next two weeks, next one month, next two months. I have something planned all the way through as to over deliver, over deliver, over deliver. And that's what we're going to do. Can't ask for more, can you? You can't ask for more. As an investor, that's what that's what you want to hear. And um, you can see by just talking to you that you're you're really dedicated and motivated. You're nonstop. Um, you're always active in the community. You're always working. You're always busy. We talk to you probably every, yeah. every, every, every other. You day, guys are we? relentless too, though, man. You Indiana, Indi- I mean, you guys are relentless too. That's why that's why I wanted you guys on board because I think yeah, it's yeah. a perfect fit. You know, I'm not into these people who are just like, oh, okay, you want me to do this? Give me this, you know, and. You know, I, that that's not what it's about. We're we want to build something huge. We we have it's an unprecedented opportunity to have someone backing us like we do, and let's make the most of it and and make yeah. history and make this epic and groundbreaking. Hundred percent. And as you said, then we've got a great team over at the Gem Hunters, Panda, yep. Indiana, and Keegan, and we all bring different strengths to the table. And I think that's really important. And I think yeah. you've got the same thing going on over at Hourglass. Yep. Everyone brings something different to the table and they all bring, you know, different qualities, different strengths. And I think it's really important to understand what they are. And use yeah. Them. Yeah. Let me just way. give a shout out to, to Lemon. Lemon is going, um, he is the co-chair here and he knows all of these um, entrepreneurs in his, the DC area. They're flying over like four guys that combined own like 20 bars um hotels restaurants that are all flying out here we're going to meet with the head of neft put everyone together we're going to get neft in all those bars they're going to be possibly part of the um 
the the show as well. And these guys are all in Hourglass and looking to get in more into Hourglass weight. So um, everyone is playing a part. Like I don't know any bar owners in DC, but but Lemon does, and so we're all putting using what we have to build something great. Yeah, I love that. And um, the the founder of Neft was talking about how there's going to be loads of VIP parties and anyone oh, yeah. involved. Anyone involved in the community will be invited and there'll be loads of special events. I'm looking forward to that. I like being part of something. You you get more yeah. purpose purpose in life, don't you? But um don't want I won't, I won't go too, too, too deep into that. I'm going off on one now. <laughs> no, I love that, man. That's actually one of the things, to be quite frank with you, that that also got me excited about working with Neff. Because look, a lot of crypto projects, even that are like one billion market cap, they might have like a once a year convention and then maybe do two events. Okay. And Neft Literally, Neft is in the process of expanding globally. You know, it's already a big vodka, but they want to get to the point of being like a Grey Goose in Belvedere where they're worth tens of billions of dollars, right? So we're on that journey with them. To do that, they're doing events all the time. So like the last one in New York was at Donna Karen's penthouse. Um, the CEO of Snapchat was there. Tech CEOs were there, VCs. And we haven't even begun this process of bringing Hourglass into all of that, but we are. We're going to have hourglass at all these events have our, like, our little corner have a step and repeat have information about it have ways to go from fiat to to uh hourglass and um and doing a ton of networking and cross promoting and we are going to have something where the hourglass holders are able to get into that event we're going to figure out how we do it whether it's like nft tickets based on your holdings or something we haven't figured out the exact mechanics we've been talking about that and you guys are going to be involved in that process too the gem hunters as to how we build Let's that in the go. tokenomics it's gonna be fun and um yeah so many events so many sporting events big parties um yacht events we've done two yacht events already it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy absolutely love it um i'm ready to hold something in germany if you need me no let's problem. go we're gonna fling to do that <laughs> Let's and go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Love that. Well, that's it's been an amazing uh space it's jet. I can't um uh, commend you enough for what you're doing. And I think the community uh can't either. So I really appreciate we really appreciate you coming over here tonight and um this has been recorded. It'll be on YouTube within the next week. So once again, thank you for coming. Cheers guys. Cheers everyone. Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Later guys. Bye.